is the 22nd of the 8th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Scott.net Earth Changes. Storm cut short. Pope's speech in Spain. Rain lightning forces Pope to, to skip bulk of speech to one million young pilgrim and disrupt Sunday's Mass. Uh, basically, he just got to say uh, hello in six different languages, and uh, off he went before the severe storm hit. Earlier in the day, firefighters were spraying down the crowd because uh, it was 40 degrees Celsius. It's about 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So a pretty extreme day for Spain there. U.S. Tropical Storm Irene could take aim at Florida. Uh, that's ongoing in the Caribbean, heading north. Um, I don't think it's going to hold together too well if it rolls up through Puerto Rico and Cuba. Uh, it's on its way now, so we'll see where Irene goes. Pennsylvania, rain, traffic, land contribute to deadly flood. Uh, the flooding that killed four people and forced others to swim to safety or climb on, onto car roofs was a freak accident caused by heavy rainfall that overwhelmed the sewer system just as rush hour traffic clogged low-lying city streets, officials said on Saturday. They got a story out of Singapore on a strange moving cloud phenomenon. Well, they got a video attached. Now, I, I think it's a, it's a trick of light on his camera lens, um, personally, but uh, I'll leave the link below so you can check it out for yourself. Uh, flashback. Polar bears in Russia, and we had uh, two major earthquakes today out of Vanuatu. you got to remember this is a volcanic area. 7.0 and a 7.1 looks like official from the USGS. And uh, over to the extinction protocol. Uh, we have an E. coli contamination in Copenhagen, Denmark. And... Um, Yeah, they say um, test shows that parts of Nornbro and another central Copenhagen neighborhood have been affected by E. coli in the water system, telling people not to drink it. Pakistan flooding the 2011 sequel, 30 dead, 50,000 homeless, over 2 million people affected. And uh, here we go again out of Pakistan. Uh, some crazy story out of Mexico, Mayan secrets about 2012 to be released by Mexican government. And they're going to release it to a documentary, uh, Revelations of the Mayans 2012 and Beyond. Um, so it's a big uh, secret they've been keeping for 80 years, apparently. More volcanoes out of Far East Russia, uh, the Kamachka. Kizaman volcano shaken by 900 tremors over a 24-hour period. And you got to remember, I think, uh, is it four or five volcanoes going off on this peninsula right now? And uh, these are the volcanoes where the ash and plumes uh, mixing with the radioactivity coming out of Japan and heading towards uh, Alaska, Canada, and uh, North America, and off into Europe, of course. So uh, these volcanoes are very active and uh, contributing to the problem, which is Fukushima. And we have a solar wind double corona hole on sun could reach Earth August 24th, uh, 22nd through 24th. Um, so we expect high um, solar winds from these corona holes and uh, we should see a heck of a light show uh, on the hemispheres. And over to the watchers tonight. Uh, Tropical Storm Harvey bears down on Belize, and uh, that's like the South Me South America, Mexico area. The swarm earthquake quakes in the Venezuelan area, and uh, over to RSOE. Extreme weather out of Ontario, Canada. Apparently some severe flooding, um, heavy downpours, the works. Tornado in uh, in Godrich, Ontario, Canada. Uh, apparently hit the town pretty hard. Um, they're asking people to stay at home and uh, definitely dealing with this situation, uh, much like we've had 
here in the United States over and over again. So another town gets hit by a tornado in uh, Canada. Uh, extreme weather out of Perth, Australia. Torrential downpours, we're talking about 40 millimeters of rain. Um, just the normal, you know, high flooding and all of that. The volcanoes in Russia. And uh, the flash floods out of Pennsylvania. So that's about all I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Uh, enjoy it while you can, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.